I don't want to make myself cry yet because makeup. <laughs> I met him at a house party about 18 years ago. Sharp, uh, handsome, overdressed, uh, <laughs> funny, positive. He has this contagious positivity that short circuits all of my natural cynicism. Alex lives in a reality where I'm the coolest, funniest, smartest guy. And he's wrong about some of that. You want to add anything? Just gauging interest. But I'll never know if <laughs> I'm not. And I'll, if he figures it out, um, I won't know. Because that's Alex. And that's the energy he brings to all of our lives is he gets all of us to see ourselves the way he sees us. Um, you know, unapologetically be yourself, fearlessly and without concept or memory of failure. Celia, you're one of his best ideas. I can't wait to see where this adventure goes. Um, Cheers to the bride and groom. Yeah, we hold on through this wild <laughs> I'm just thinking back to when I first met Cecilia. So we, we actually met um, on OKCupid. And um, from the absolute moment we started talking, we knew that we were going to hit it off. Um, I, I, I told a really bad, bad joke and uh, she laughed so hard. I was like, okay, she can, this girl can hang. And uh, as the night went on, we just like, it was just so easy to talk to her. She absolutely elevated the energy and I'm typically like the one that's carrying it. And uh, man, it, it was like date after date, we just kept falling deeper into each other and uh, yeah, we, we, it's really funny because I think it was like our, our, our third or fourth date and she was like, yeah, you're my boyfriend now. And uh, I am not the kind of person that would just be like, okay, that's it. Like, let's like, let, let's do it. This, this feels right. Um, but it, it absolutely did. And it's, it, it's wild. That was six years ago. So the girl has got some demonstrated patience, <laughs> no doubt about it. But um, man, it's, it's been a wild ride. We got through COVID together. Um, definitely some challenging times, ups and downs, but I think that that is a testament to how strong we are as a couple. And um, I know that we'll take that, that, that strength and go to the end. So I'm, I can't wait for today. It's gonna be so exciting. This has been a long time coming. So we're here, we're now I'm just gonna enjoy it. George is my best man. I've known him for a heck of a long time. We think the same way. We are incredibly detail-oriented, uh, hyper-analytical people. And um, I'm, I'm curious to see it. I, I wanna catch him getting emotional because he, I, I don't think he, he, he says he's not gonna be, but I bet you we can get him and uh, see if we can catch a tear. Um, I'm looking forward to his best man speech. Um, hopefully he doesn't, Think too much of here, you can actually get, you know, speak from the heart. We'll see though. Cecilia, you really are the sister I never had, and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. <laughs> Another thing about Cecilia that I knew right from the start is that she was someone truly looking for love. 
And when she called me and invited me to her and Alex's second date, <laughs> I knew it could be the real deal, given the excitement in her voice. So I joined her and Alex to a small art gallery and got a glimpse into the instant spark that they shared. And you know, the rest is history. I also feel so lucky that I get to be standing here for not only one, but for two of my best friends. <laughs> Alex, your quirks and your passion for everything that you love, especially Starbucks and Heineken's, has connected us. And I'm just so thankful for the bond that we share. You're such a funny, loving person and match with Cecilia's personality so well. Anyone can take one look at the two of you together and see that you are perfect for each other. I couldn't be happier for you guys. And I look so forward to the memories to come. And with that, can everyone please raise a glass? <laughs> and let us toast to Cecilia and Alex. I wish you both the best, and I love you both so much. <laughs>in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit the Lord be with you Alexander and Cecilia the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today in the presence of God our Father you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership may the Lord hear you on this your joyful day may he send you help from heaven and protect you may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on these your servants, Alexander and Cecilia, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. 
but none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up his place with flesh that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, this one at last is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called a woman. For out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek to own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all, believes all, hopes all things, endure all things. Love never fails. The Word of God. I, Alexander. I, Alexander. Take you, Cecilia. Take you, Cecilia. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Cecilia. I, Cecilia. Take you, Alexander. Take you, Alexander. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promised. I promise. <laughs> to be faithful to, <laughs> to you. To be faithful to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days. All the days. Of my life. Of my life. Cecilia, Cecilia, <laughs> receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign. As a sign of my love. Of my love and fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Alexander. Alexander, receive this ring. Receive this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Well, face forward. Now it is my great honor and pleasure to introduce officially for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cato. Got a good day coming. But it's all I need. Congratulations to both you guys. Uh, congratulations. Hope they have a long, happy life. They both have animals. They both live on Wall Street. Uh, they share a lot of passions. And now they're married.
I, I've often said Cecile loves Alex more than breathing. Um, I'm eternally grateful that Alex returns those affections and is so loving and caring. I really could not be happier for both of them. It's a tired old cliche that I'm not losing a daughter, but I'm gaining a son, and I do feel strongly that that is true, and I'm sure the Cato family is going to feel the same way. I'd like us all to toast them a long life of happiness. Close the mask. Suddenly I'm seeing everything so different. Like I'm looking at.